Before we get started on this video, I wanna give a huge shout out to The Farmer's Dog for sponsoring this video. The Farmer's Dog is a food subscription service that sends dog food right to your door. And not only just dog food, it's real quality ingredients dog food. You got beef, turkey, chicken. No additives, no dry kibble. This is real quality food. And if you don't believe it, you can literally just look at the package. And all this dog food will get delivered right to your doorstep. Now, that's one of the most important things that I love about the farmer's dog is I am very, very, very busy in my life, as you guys know, with YouTube and traveling and fishing, and I'm all over the place. Now, the last thing in my mind is having to run to the convenience store or the pet store to get dog food. Nope, it's already in my freezer. All I gotta do is take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge for the next day. The farmer's dog is made out of real food, and if you don't believe it, well, you can literally just look at the food and see the real food. Now, the farmer's dog may be a little bit more pricier than your traditional dog food, but it's a health investment in your pet. And we all want our pets to be healthy and live the best, longest life that they have. And as most of you guys know, I'm a huge health advocate for healthy food. I mean, healthy food controls how you feel, how you look, all the above. Now when it comes to your pet, you can notice more energy in your pet, um, a better appetite with your pet, even a shinier coat, better breath, and even better poops. <coughs> I think he's ready to eat. So with Finley, I have to use this little feeding mat because he eats so fast. Not only does Finley absolutely love this food, but he inhales it. So I have to use a little feeding mat for him. Just like that. I just store my farmer's dog after it's defrosted. I put it in this glass Tupperware and I store it in my refrigerator. You ready, baby? You ready? Here you go. Good boy. Finley will eat his food within probably about a minute and a half and he'll sit there and lick the tray for a good 10 minutes afterwards to make sure he gets every single little bit. Another crazy thing is I was going to get my new puppy on the farmer's dog and then now they're sponsoring this video so it works out flawlessly. I absolutely love this food. If you guys want 50% off your first subscription box with the farmer's dog, go in the description below this video, click the link and get your furry child some really good quality food. I'll also have the link on the screen here. If you guys are watching this on a TV, go ahead and type that in your search engine and get that 50% off. But right now, we're gonna get back to the video. <laughs> I cannot wear fuzzy slippers anymore because apparently they're a chew toy. Good morning, everyone. It's Kelly here. Oh. I have a turmeric latte instead of coffee this morning. I was feeling a little under the weather, so I think I'm gonna fast mostly today. Maybe have like a really enriched, nutritious smoothie later. But as you can see, I think Finley just ate a lizard. As you can see, Finley and Redneck are doing flawlessly. Redneck, Redneck plays a little rough, but Finley's kind of like a goofy puppy. So it's funny, so this side yard's obviously uh, fenced in. Finley wakes up at 6 a.m. every single morning and I wanted to get some extra sleep because like I said, I was kind of feeling a little funky yesterday. So sometimes I'll just stick Finley and Redneck in the side yard for like an hour in the morning while I sleep. Well, I come out here and I'm like, Redneck, Redneck's sitting on the back porch. Usually Finley is too. Finley, Finley, I'm like where is he? I go out here, I hear, yep, he's crying. He's on the other side of this fence right here with his little head popped through this little opening. So he must have jumped over this bucket that I have because the chickens walk through this opening too. He must have jumped over the opening and got out into the front yard. So who knows what you were doing for an hour this morning, little stinker. At least you come to your name being called. <laughs> Finley is also a whopping 15 pounds and four ounces. Uh, it's kind of hard for him to put on weight because of his megasophagus condition. Good morning, chickens. Excuse me. 
The turkey is huge. And as you can see, I have them together now, which I mean, every now and then the chickens will kind of pick on her, but she's doing pretty good. Isn't that right, girl? You doing good? She's so pretty. She'll go into strut too, it's hilarious. But she's definitely a hen, as you guys can tell. She's probably, let's see, I got her when she was two months. Gosh, she's probably like four, probably like five months right now, five, six months. My dwarf mulberry tree is flourishing over there. Hello, chickens. I don't know if they've laid yet. Oh no, an egg broke. Ooh, dang, they all, usually they don't lay this, I mean, there'll be like two in here. Dang it. And they pooped, I just changed this bedding. I'll have to clean that later. I just found a fourth egg. It was just laying in the grass right there. It must have been from yesterday. Very annoying thing that's happening. My chickens are now roosting on top of the coop. And not in the coop. So now I have to hose off poop off the coop every day. Gross. The wild chicken goes in the coop though. The turkey used to roost on top of this, but I think the chickens got jealous and started doing it too. Another thing is I put holes in that tarp. These tarps are obviously made for shade, but when it rains, here, let's see. No! <laughs> Stay. They get full of water. I tried to like cut holes in this one so it could leak through, but I don't know, it didn't really work. Got water all over me. Alright, let's see if I can do this. One handed, four eggs. This is kind of like my morning routine. I feed Finley, I feed Redneck, I feed the betta fish. Collect eggs in the morning. Let me close this. And get ready for my day. So this morning we are going to go over um, someone named Steve's house. Uh, this girl I went to high school with actually, it's her uncle I believe. And he is a woodsman carpenter. And he made a super cool stool for Finley. Um, excuse me, Finley. Hey, we're not digging holes this morning. Yeah, Finley likes to dig holes, as you guys can see now. <laughs> oh my god, he's so, he's so cute, I can't yell at him. Dig that hole, Finley. Um, but we're going to pick up a new stool for Finley because obviously he's getting bigger and he's going to get much bigger. So I had him make a wooden stool that was a little bit heavier because, as you can see, I think he did it this morning, this plastic stool here, he like moves it around. He gets excited and just moves all around and... Pretty soon it's gonna to be too uh, shallow, too short for him to eat off of. So we're gonna go pick that up this morning and I'm just gonna bring you guys along for my day. I have our family friend Brenda coming to the house and cleaning around 10, 11 o'clock. Just because sometimes I just can't keep up with Gabe and two boys. I try my best, but then I'm like, at one point I'm like, I need someone to come help clean this house because it's a lot to keep up with, so. I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna head and go get the stool and then probably go to the beach and just uh, live the Florida life. In two miles, take exit 142 toward Port St. Lucie. All right, you guys, we made it to Port St. Lucie. We have Chris right here and Steve, and I'm picking up Finley's new stool. Finley, what are you doing? It's a busy road right there, so we have him on a leash, but he's been doing pretty good and staying with us. Steve, yes. say hello to all your fans. Hi. <laughs> so Steve over here made this beautiful new stool for Finley to eat off of. And it's a little bit bigger. Finley, come here. Come here, Finley. Come here, up here. He probably needs food for motivation. Come here. Come on. Up. Good boy. 
So as you can see, it's a little big right now, but he's gonna be a 50, 60 pound dog. So it works flawlessly. If you guys want any type of woodwork done, oh, he just bit my hand. Steve here is a magnificent woodsman. Woodsman, what do you call yourself? I do woodworking. Woodworking. Right, a lot of, a lot of different woodworking for different people. Uh, if, it, if it can be made, I usually try to make it. Let Is me that... tell you what, I give you a lot of kudos because I tried to uh, redo a piece of furniture in Gabe's house and it was terrible. Let's just say the wrong sandpaper, I scratched it all up, I put a thick thick layer of the wood sand, it was just a mess. So the fact that you do this full time is amazing. Thank you so much. It's fun and it's relaxing. I, I really, really, I really enjoy it, honestly. I really enjoy it. And when I, you know, knowing that I was going to be doing something for a, a puppy, I love dogs. I love animals. And it, it just uh, it made me feel good doing it. It really did. You got it done so soon too. I messaged this girl, Bree, who I went to high school with on Instagram. It's funny, cause we never like actually met in person, I don't think, but we went to high school together, but we're like best friends on Instagram and we talk like every day. And she said, my uncle does woodwork. He can make Finley a Bailey chair. I'm like, well, let's do a stool. Cause I kind of like the stool thing. He made it within like, a week he's like oh it's ready and i'm like say what like i was not expecting that like this man works super hard and it pays off because it's very beautiful <laughs> hey are you getting some loving are you chewing you want to load it up in my truck for me yes ma'am i sure will <laughs> thank you i'll yeah. take this road grab. you ready finley yeah. come back, on finley back seat Ashley um back seat yeah just in case it i don't think it's gonna rain but Family, where's the chain coming? Oh, you want it in the back? Yeah, probably in the back seat. Okay. Oh, no, okay, good. That should work. Beautiful truck. Thank you. Oh, oh, now you're wanting to go. Okay. He's like, wait, we're leaving? Do not right. get in that road, mister. Nope. <coughs> hey, you be good. Come here, don't bump your noggin. You be good, okay? He said his head a Say, lot. Say, it was fun doing this, okay? <laughs> It was fun. And I don't mind doing other things. All right, little feller? <laughs> well, thank you so much for everything, Steve. You're welcome. You're more than welcome, Kelly. I do not mind it. Next time I see you, I hope you are just the biggest, rowdiest little puppy. <laughs> oh, he will <laughs> Which be. Which you probably are. <laughs> he has his calm moments and his crazy moments. All right, so we just got his stool, which, oh my gosh, Chris and Steve were the nicest humans I've probably ever met. Like, they were so sweet. Shut the door, kind of loud. Locked, locked. All right, you ready, Finley? Right now I'm in Traditions in Port St. Lucie and I'm meeting Chelsea, my best friend, for an acai bowl at Three Natives. Come on. So Finley does not like super loud noises like cars revving or blenders. Finley, it's okay. Oh, honey. Why you gotta rev an engine like that? Oh, it's okay, baby. I gotta hold the baby. What's up, Chelster? Hey, baby. Nice little vegetable salad there. I'm so excited. So much for fasting. I know. <laughs> we were gonna fast today, but we're just gonna be healthy instead. All right, I'm gonna give you Finley, and then I'm gonna order. Hi, bub. He's huge. Oh my goodness. Pretty soon, we're not gonna be able to hold him anymore. I know, I, we pull him, he's like a big fluff ball. I know. Yeah. Look how gorgeous, this is acai, acai smoothie mix, I guess. Granola, banana, blueberry, strawberry, honey, and that's it. You can get a bunch of stuff on these acai bowls. It's funny because I loved acai bowls probably like three years ago when they first kind of like came out, I guess. And then I was like, eh, I had them so much, I was kind of sick of them. How do you and say it? Acai. 
Acai. Acai. Acai. People saying people acai. say acai, 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 acai bowl. However you may say it. But I had one the other day. I don't know. I just got done working out. I want something refreshing, and I got one. Now I'm like kind of addicted to them again. So you're living your best life, Finley. All right, you gotta go on the ground. Finley. Oh, now he wants the water. That's yeah. kind of cool. They have a raised water bowl out here for him. They're so dog friendly. That works perfect. Hopefully, he doesn't choke. Good boy. Here, Finley, sit, sit. Good boy. Sometimes I'll have him sit and look up if he drinks water from like a lower standpoint. There we go. Good boy. It's about 20 minutes until sunset and I'm walking along the intercoastal here with Finley. Where is he? Crazy dog. And I step into the water and I almost step on this. Look at this. I'm also getting eaten up by noceums. Check out this cool starfish. Listen, you're in the water. This is Finley's first time getting in the water. <laughs> that was cute. So I look down, I see this cool starfish just walking along. And then I look over here and there's another one. How cool. And then I look, oh my gosh, Finley. <laughs> That's his first time he's ever entered the water at like a beach or anything. How cute. They're everywhere. There's another one here, another one here, another one over there, another one there. How cool, oh my gosh, another one. How cool is this? And then there's Finley living his best life. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. Oh, oh that was a fail. <laughs> I think he likes the water. Look at the starfish right there. He doesn't even know they're there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one, two, three, four. That's a huge one. Five. Oh look, there's like an imprint of one. How cool is this? There's also a mullet everywhere. Finley, <laughs> what are you doing? These starfish are everywhere. How cool is that? I want to pick one up for a picture. Let's see. Finley is hilarious right now. I'm happy he loves the water though because I brought him into the pool the other day which I'll show you guys that footage in a minute and he was kind of unsure like he swam but he wasn't like crazy about it. But look at this. Finley, don't eat it. Check this out. That's sick. Be nice. I don't have my actual camera right now. I'm just filming with my phone. My fingers hurt from holding the phone horizontally, but this is so cool. I have lived here my entire life and I have never seen these starfish like this before. They must be like mating or something. <laughs> Finley, you're hilarious. Come on, Finley. Come on. <laughs> he hasn't big, quite figured out how to like swim. He just hops in the water. Uh oh. Don't oh, choke on water.
All right, I'm gonna go deeper. You ready? You gotta start swimming now. Hold on. Good boy. Good boy, Finley. Good boy. So, I don't know if I already said this, but fun fact about Finley is I took him to the beach a couple weeks ago. Actually, I lied. It was like last week. And I let him off the leash and I'm like, please don't run away, which he hasn't ran away yet, but I know he's still a young puppy. And he stays by my side. Like if he goes off about like 20 feet in front of me and I like stop walking, he'll like, he always looks back to see if I'm there. And if I stop walking, he'll just race his little heart out and gets me as fast as he can. So he's a super, super good dog. I love him so much. And his condition with the mega esophagus, uh, I've been just feeding him upright and he's been eating flawlessly. Every now and then he'll have a little bit of a hiccup and, you know, regurgitate, like just like a little bit going on in the throat there, but I don't see his food come up. I did have a scare a couple days ago because he actually went into my chicken pen and ate a bunch of chicken poop. And when he came back in, like he was so bloated, it was scary. Um, so that night he threw up all night. He threw up all the next day. So I'm like, great. Like, I don't know if this is the chicken poop related or if it's his mega esophagus related. Luckily, I think it was just because he had an upset stomach, um, which is what I was hoping for because I don't know anything really about this disease other than it can be um, treatable, not curable. Oh, it was a leaf on my foot. <laughs> This makes me so happy. So yeah, good news is it was just all night and all the next day he was thrown up. He wasn't regurgitating. He was throwing up because of the chicken poop. So that is a good sign for his condition. You're a goofball. You're not even walking, you're just hopping. I did not plan on you getting soaking wet. Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> no, you gotta walk yourself out. No. Nope. Okay. It's a goofball. Finley, come here. Hi. Oh. Cough it out. Good boy. What a good boy. Here, it's a good thing I had a towel in the car. Good boy. Good boy. I love you. Good boy. You're soaking wet. So we are going to wrap it up here because 
I'm getting eaten alive by noceums. If you don't know what noceums are, consider yourself lucky because in Florida, Bahamas, them noceums during summertime, they're, they call them noceums because you can barely see them because you, you know, see them, you know, see them, you don't see them, but they bite you like crazy. They're like little tiny little itchy bugs all over your body. So we're going to get out of here. I think we're going to come back here and maybe, maybe we'll cook or something to cook piece of fish or come back here tomorrow during sunset. But Finley absolutely loved the water. No, sir. Get over here. Get over here. I mean, I need to dry you off, so boy. You are so sandy. Come here. So I know this video is kind of all over the place, but the footage that you just watched was last night here in the same spot. This is, wait, where is he? This is Finley's little designated mini beach spot. There's a bunch of hermit crabs over there near the rocks, um, kind of in the same area where we found the starfish. It's the next morning, if you can't tell. And I'm just wrapping up the video, but I have Chelsea and her two kids out here and they're catching hermit crabs, so. Just a regular shell? Let's see. Let's check out these hermit crabs. So these rocks over here? The rocks over here? 15 on just one rock. Yeah, these rocks over here, like there's one there. I think I think you like got all the ones over here. Let me see. Yep, one there, one there. That's a cool shell too. Eli, let me see that one. Colors. A cake hiding. of hermit crabs. Yeah. He's hiding in there. You heard it. You don't? No. <laughs> They're all oh, over this in. area. I see them. Yeah. Let me see, Aubrey. I think this is a broken one. See the blood that I literally see him. No, this is a regular show. It's just a regular one. He he's not home. Not home. He's not home. Look at him. He is so good. Finley. He's the best boy. Let's see if he'll go in the water again. Come on, family. Come here. Come here. Come on, baby. Here he goes. Come on. Good boy. If I'm in the water, he's definitely getting in. Hope you guys can see. I can't see the screen. Hi, baby. Oh, hi, honey. Pulling down my bathing suit, family. There we go. He loves his mama for sure. He's such a good boy. Yeah, Eli's voice is very loud. Go on, family. Oh, honey. I think <laughs> if I let him, I think he would just swim until he couldn't swim anymore and he would probably just sink. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked the little update on Finley and everything going on here. Be sure to like the video and subscribe and we will see you guys next time. See ya.